TechMW. Welcome back to TechMW. See if you can spot what is missing from the shelves compared to last video. It is not the Macintosh SE this time. We did that last week. It is the 2006 iMac. Yes, in this video, we are going back to the 2006 phase. We have had videos on the 2006 MacBook, which is currently in the shelf over there, but this time we're gonna be focusing on the 2006 iMac. This is a late 2006. This one is a Core 2 Duo. It's got two gigs of RAM and the ATI Radeon X1600. It's an okay system, but it is a pretty good system for running Windows XP. So that is exactly what we're about to try. So when this Mac came out and you know, when boot camp started being a thing, Windows XP was the latest version. So logically, it should just work, but I'm worried because in Snow Leopard, it will force me to install Windows 7. I may have to do it manually, but that's fine. Are we ready to power this on in three, two, one? Oh, oh. Yeah, the speaker's a bit done. This Mac is also upgraded to a 256 gig SSD, which is great. And as you can see, it's actually running Tiger. It's actually running Tiger. I completely forgot this was running Tiger. It's got two partitions. It's got a Tiger partition and it's got a Snow Leopard partition. So if we can't get it to work properly in Snow Leopard, we might be able to do it in Tiger anyway. So let's just go into our specs here. So yeah, as you can see, we've got the 2.160 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. I think this is the T7400. We've got two gigs of RAM and our Macintosh SSD, which is... I was gonna search for disk utility, but we are indexing for two hours. Okay, that, surely that can't take two hours on an SSD. What I was trying to show you was disk utility. As you can see, everything's so fast as well. Yeah, we've got a, apparently a 238 gig SSD, so it's probably 240 really. One thing you'll notice about this Mac on Tiger is just how fast it is. I mean, everything is ridiculous. Look at this, we'll go to iTunes, bang. QuickTime player, bang, numbers. Bang. Keynote. Bang. Pages. Bang. iMovie HD. Bang. Bang. Wow. It's it's insane how everything just opens that quickly. You may uh, be aware of the fact that you can't actually install Tiger from a Tiger disc. You have to have the original DVDs if you're trying to install it on an Intel Mac because they never made an Intel compatible like retail disc of Tiger for these. This is actually kind of rare. I have the discs with it as well. We're going to boot this properly into Snow Leopard by holding the Alt key. What do you mean pages cancelled restart? What, what is this? Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ah, there we go. Right, let's hold the alt key. This doesn't want to shut down. <laughs> so we've got 10, 4, 11, 10, 6, 8. Let's do it. Bish, bash, bosh, straight into 10.6.18. And just look at how quickly the operating system loads as well. It's like you get the little loading wheel for a few seconds, right? And then before you know it, bang on the desktop. <laughs> The startup disk cannot be partitioned or restored to a single partition. Uh-oh. Uh, I think that's a problem. I think that's a problem because we've got Snow Leopard and Tiger on the same hard drive. Right, then we're going to have to do this manually. All right, I'm going to do some absolute tech and W trickery to get this to work. <laughs> We've got... Oh, that, that's not the discs. This is the discs. They've all been reorganized. Yeah, uh, I think this is XP. We've got Windows XP Home. I think this is Windows XP Home. Yeah, this is Windows XP Home. So, shove that on top of the Diary of the Kid books. We're just gonna rotate. That's a unique disc, I have to say. We can pop. Oh, that's good. Our Windows XP disk is showing up. Let's see if this EFI can even handle it because I'm not using refit or anything like that. I'm not using a custom boot manager. So let's see if this can handle it just without any modification. Magic. Absolute magic. That disk drive is getting loud. At least it's spinning at full speed. I've been getting so used to using old Macs like the iMac G3 and all of that. It's just like, it's not normal for me now to hear a drive spinning like this. It's just great. Windows setup. Hey, hey. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is what we want. Setup is loading files. That is really what we want. How about this for a video idea? How about in the next video or like the video after that or whatever, 
I upgrade this installation to Windows Vista. I think that'd be quite funny. And we have made it to the actual setup screen. Wow, I actually didn't think we were gonna get that far for some reason. I guess because of the standard way TechMW go. Hey, copying files. Look at that. This might not even take very long because we're running on an SSD. So it might just be like, vroom. I mean, if we had any doubt before, I don't think we've got any doubt now. Look at this, full on Windows XP installer. So yeah, uh, I'm fairly confident this is gonna work, which is a really good thing. All right, we are fully on now. Let's go. TechMW as my organization, because yeah, with Windows XP, if you don't enter a product key, it just doesn't let you set it up, which is, uh, yeah, unfortunate, but we've got past it, which means We've got 31 minutes approximately left on our installation, but I, I don't think it's going to take anywhere near that long. Installing from an SSD. I mean, look at that. It's just gone from 31 to 26 minutes. Yeah, it shouldn't take anywhere near that long. Victory! Heck yeah! Welcome to Microsoft Windows. Thank you for purchasing Microsoft Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer. Oh, yes. Of course, it would be my honor. Help protect. Yes, please. Automatic updates. Because, like, the security on Windows XP is still completely up to date yes, <laughs> heck yes oh yes control panel can we uh, can we see our hardware can we go into device manager we've got a core 2 t7400 but 1.98 gigs of ram it's registered to Adam from TechMW. We are on Windows XP. Let's go get some boot camp drivers installed which I'm gonna have to grab my disk of OS 10 Leopard. Oh, yes. There it is. Windows XP. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> uh. That was weird. It kind of glitched. We are fully in Windows XP. Let's go through the, as you, yeah, look how snappy this is as well. This is insanely snappy. Just everything. Radeon X1600, there you go. So, you know, this is a, a little uh, Windows XP gaming PC, uh, I think, not really. If you would like to see me try and game on this, please do let me know. Look, I'm gonna have, there's gonna be like two, two choices. I'm gonna do for the an upcoming video. We either game on this or we upgrade it to Windows Vista and then try and game on it. So I'm gonna leave that decision up to you for when you watch this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. If you enjoyed this one, please do consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel. I don't even need to say it, do I? Die a wimpy kid. Also consider joining the Discord server. The link is in the description below. I'm always talking on there and uh, it's growing. It is growing, so uh, yeah. If you want to talk to me, that's the best place to do it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in the next video.